this is step three in the loan officer marketing on Facebook series. If you haven't caught the before, you know, the other two videos, make sure you go back and watch those because they're super important. I'll link to the videos down below in the description. But video number three, we're going to talk about again, how you can grow your mortgage business, get more referral partners, get more repeat business, get more clients organically, which means for free on Facebook. That's what we're talking about on today's video. All right. So here's what we got to do is now at this point, we've been adding people to our Facebook page every day. So, or excuse me, not to your page, but rather to your personal profile, right? So sometimes people will say, is this happening on my business page or is this happening on my personal profile? Everything I'm sharing in this particular three part series, this is all happening on your personal profile. Okay. People on Facebook, they want to interact with people, not with pages. And that's why this strategy is way more effective if you do it on your personal profile and not doing it on your business page where you're trying to force people to come over and engage. Just put your stuff where people already want to engage, which is on your personal profile, right? All right. Now, step one, you've been adding people to your personal profile. Step two, we just, uh, we talked about getting more customer video testimonials that we can be able to use and demonstrate to people how well you're helping other folks, right? So step number three, we want to be talking more about your business on Facebook. Now, you can't just go from talking about only personal and then switch and talk about only business. It's never going to work. People will unfriend you. They will unfollow you, which means you stay friends with them, but they don't see your content in the newsfeed anymore. When somebody unfollows you, you have no idea that that actually happened, right? Because you stay connected with them. They just don't see your content anymore. So you definitely don't want that to happen. And we have to have a blend of personal and business. At the end of the day, you're only one person and you should be demonstrating that whole person inside of your Facebook profile. So that means talking about your personal life. That means talking about your business, your ups and downs, things you're doing on the weekends, you know, your clients you're helping. All this can be blended into one profile to have the best results. Okay. Now on your personal profile, what I'm recommending is that you post at least once per day. I think you should actually post at least twice per day and we'll talk about why, right? But when you post once per day, Facebook considers you to be an active user, number one, and Facebook rewards active users. So you definitely want to be in that category. The other thing is that as you post every day, your different Facebook friends are going to see different posts because, you know, Facebook is always deciding who to show your stuff to, right? When you, when you make a post, they're going to pick about 15% of your connections to initially show the post to based on what you talked about and who they think would be interested in, in that topic. And then depending on the engagement from that initial crowd, Facebook will either continue to show the post or move it into the right hand sidebar of death. If you're on the desktop, right? If you're on your mobile, that doesn't even exist. So, um, by, by creating more content every single day, you know, you have more opportunities to be in front of your folks. You also have more opportunity for them to engage with one post and then Facebook will sh start showing them more of your posts. But if you only post once a week, there's only one post for them to show, right? They're not going to go back and show stuff from a month ago unless it's getting new engagement, but stuff that's from within the last 72, 96 hours, you know, five days or six days, that kind of range, Facebook will continue to show. So if you're posting every single day and somebody likes a post that you make today, there's a chance that when, as they're going in the newsfeed, Facebook is going to pull in some of the posts that you made yesterday, the day before yesterday, and show them some of those um, topics as well, some of those posts. So you have a chance where they'll see one of your fun posts and, and then Facebook will pull in one of your business posts, right? Where they'll see a business post, Facebook will pull in some fun posts. And so by having a blend and making sure that you're posting every single day, you're going to have the best chance to make sure that your content is constantly showing up, right? Um, the other thing is posting every day. It's going to give you about two to three times per week where you can talk about your business. You know, um, I typically use a 70, 30 split. So 70% personal, 30% business. And you want to be careful not to go too heavy on business. So if you're posting once per day, that means that about every week you can post maybe one, two times per week about your business. Whereas if you post two times per day and now you have 14 posts per week, you can post about four or five times about your business every week. So posting two times a day, it gives you more opportunity to engage with your friends, 
more opportunity to be to show up in their newsfeed and be top of mind and be relevant and also more opportunity to actually talk about your business and use Facebook as a money making tool and not just as a social media you know time waster right you can use it as a blend where you're having fun and you're making money both from your personal profile and that's when Facebook is really pretty fun right is when you get a chance to to operate it that way so you know in this three-part series what we've covered is we've covered how you should be adding people on your per on your personal profile every single day so that your perfect referral partners and your ideal clients can be seeing your posts number two we talked about how to get more customer reviews and more customer testimonials so you can share that content on Facebook and demonstrate to people that you're helping clients you can help them as well and then number three we talk about how to actually post on Facebook every single day two times a, a day you know ideally one time a day minimum and that's going to give you more opportunities to humble brag about your business where you can then demonstrate to realtors that you're helping people you're having success your realtors are making more money by working with you and so that's just want to share those pieces again make sure you give a thumbs up a like and a comment subscribe to the channel down below and if you want to know more about some of these things that we're talking about now check out the official loan officer strategy guide it's available at loanofficerstrategyguide.com it's full of 31 different ideas on everything that you can do to be able to go out there grow your mortgage business in both paid and free ways i'm nick carpenter hope you enjoyed the series make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see the next one and we'll catch you next time my goal and intention at this moment is to do two videos per week i hope you're having an awesome day see you next time